Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Techdos product review. Today's product is so massive, I can't even get it to fit on the screen. It's the Iceco VL60 Dual Zone 12 Volt Compressor Refrigerator with the five year Dan Foss compressor. Many of you have been waiting forever for me to get around to this refrigerator, but testing took longer than expected. They were out of stock for a little while. So we're here to find out if Iceco's most popular dual zone refrigerator is any good. Let's find out. So I know you're wondering what comes in the box. I'm not gonna throw the box for this one across the room, but it doesn't come with a whole lot. Now you got the 12 volt adapter cable. This lets you run it from a 12 or 24 volt source. And you get an AC power cable. Note there's no power bricks, there's nothing like that. These are just basic adapter cables. All the power conversion is done inside the refrigerator. So whenever you plug in the 12 volt, it knows to use 12 volt. When you plug it into AC power, it knows to use AC power. And of course you get a manual, which we'll go over here in a second. So the book, it says, Ice Coat Steel. And yes, this whole thing is made of steel. So it's gonna be very strong. You were strong. We are strong. We have power. There's the data sheet, if anybody wants to know the specifications. It does say here, don't use the refrigerator over a 30 degree incline. So you can put this inside of a vehicle. Um, don't run it if you're gonna be doing some serious rock rolling. It's gonna make the refrigerator tilt over 30 degrees while it's running. This information here is pretty important. It tells you the low, high, and medium battery protection that's built in. So you can switch it on low and it will operate down to 9.6 volts DC and on high it'll operate down to 11.1 .1 volts DC. And you double those numbers if you're running on 24 volts. And as mentioned before, five year warranty. Now if you're thinking, is the VL60 big? It's definitely big. This thing measures at 31 inches long, 19 inches wide, and just under 19 inches high. Now they're saying that that is a perfect height for inside of a vehicle. This thing weighs in at a whopping 66 pounds. So if you're not into lifting heavy things, good thing it's got nice springy metal handles on each side, you can get somebody to help you. So here are the AC and DC inputs. As you can see, they are separate. Do not run them both at the same time. But you have the AC cable here that would just plug into the AC port and you can obviously plug this into the wall or a generator or whatever you want to use to power it. See, there's a fuse there as well, if you were shorted out. And then the DC cord plugs in just like that and then this goes into your cigarette lighter of your vehicle or a Jackery or any other portable power station. And let's go ahead and power it with a Jackery Explorer 300 so I can show you the controls. So if you've ever operated one of these refrigerators before, it's pretty simple. Hold down the power button to get it to come on. And you can see here, you have two different temperatures. One is for the left side of the fridge, the other is for the right side of the fridge. Now you can set them both to zero and have a giant deep freezer, or you can set them both to refrigerator and have a giant refrigerator. You can also just turn one of them off. So say you only want to use half the refrigerator for some reason, you can do that. So let's show you how to program it. You hit the mode button, it takes you to the left side. I have it set to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Hit mode again, it takes you to the right side, which I have set to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Then this allows you to change eco or max mode and that speeds up or slows down the compressor, saves energy. And then this is low, medium, and high for the battery protection. And that's all there is to it. If you're wondering about this little battery meter, it does not have a battery built in, but it's telling you that the voltage coming in is maxed out, which it is because it's coming from a Jackery, which has a regulated 12 volts. And to give you an idea how much power it's pulling right now on max mode, it is doing about 43 watts, which is typical for a Dan Foss compressor. Now behind these heavy steel latches, you can see what kind of size you're dealing with inside. This thing is gargantuan, and it does come with a basket that comes out. Give you an idea what it looks like inside, and yes, it does have a light on both sides. And being Iceco, they of course give you the schematics, 
specifications, and you also provide recommendations of what temperature you should store your foods at. Now on this side, this is what I call the freezer side because it's smaller. Now you can use either side for freezer or refrigerator, but whenever I was running my test, I used the smaller freezer because most likely you're gonna to wanna to use the big refrigerator compartment on a smaller freezer, but it's up to you what you wanna do. And like I said, you get a light on both sides, which is really nice. And of course, I took the VL60 into my secret laboratory where I performed all kinds of crazy experiments on it. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do the test that shows how long it takes to get down to operating temperature as well as how much power it's going to take. Since this is a dual zone refrigerator, and that means one side's refrigerated, the other side's a freezer, I'm going to set the refrigerated side to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to set the freezer side to zero degrees. And we're going to leave it that way, set on max mode. And we're going to determine how long does it take and how much power does it require. So let's go ahead and turn on the power to the Jackery. We're going to use the Jackery to power it. See the display comes on. We'll go ahead and turn this on. And then the mode button is going to let you program the temperature. So we have 32 on the fridge side, 0 on the freezer side. And we're going to set to max cooling. And we're going to leave it on low battery mode. Start the timer. You can see there it's doing about 40 watts on startup. A few moments later. Here are the results of the initial cool down test for the VL60 refrigerator. You can see the temperature now for the refrigerated side is 29. For the freezer side is zero. Total time to get to those temperatures was one hour 13 minutes. And it took 4.3 amp hours or 52 watt hours. Day two. You can see. The refrigerated side, we got full of goodies. Got some, some beer and some bread on the refrigerated side. And the frozen side, we got some frozen blueberries and some ice and some other stuff in there. So we ran this for 24 full hours and we're gonna get to see the results now. How much energy did it take to run a dual zone refrigerator freezer? As you can see here, it's still holding the temperature just fine. Here are the results of the 24 hour test, 42 amp hours or 510 watt hours. Now that's a lot more power than a typical smaller single zone refrigerator, but you have to remember this is running both a refrigerator and a freezer. So as long as one of them needs to be cooled down, that compressor's gonna run. And we did run this on max mode for that 24 hour period. Welcome back, it's our second and final test for the Iceco VL60. So what we did is we did the test with refrigerated food in one side and frozen food in the other side for 24 hours and we got that number on max mode. I let it run an additional 24 hours, but this time on eco mode. So nothing in the refrigerator has changed except for eco mode and we'll check right now and see what kind of power difference is there between eco mode and max mode. And here are the results of the second 24 hour test. 30.6 amp hours, 366 watt hours. That's actually significantly less power than on max mode. And here we have confirmed that we are in eco mode and we are still within the plus or minus three degree temperature difference most of these refrigerators allow for. And that's one other thing I wanna make clear about refrigerators in general. I've had some viewers question why their ice co refrigerators aren't holding zero degrees. Like if you set it to zero degrees, sometimes it'll be minus two, sometimes it'll be plus two. Well, these refrigerators are designed with a thermostat, just like the thermostat in your house for your furnace. It'll actually overcool slightly, shut off the compressor, the temperature will go up, up to two or three degrees above what you have it set at, and then the compressor kicks back on. So. It's designed to keep it within that range of five to six degrees. A lot of people were kind of confused about that. They were like, my, my freezer is not at zero degrees. I have it set to zero and it shut off at two degrees. That's just normal operation. So this is the biggest 12 volt refrigerator I have. And I was actually kind of surprised that on eco mode, it only consumed about 370 watt hours in a 24 hour period. That's about the same as a much smaller freezer that I tested before with a similar compressor. So even though this refrigerator is a lot bigger and it's a dual zone, which means it can refrigerate and freeze at the same time, it still uses about the same amount of power as a smaller refrigerator that's only a single zone. 
That's really good news for those of you that boondock a lot or running off of solar or limited battery power. This seems like a pretty excellent refrigerator, and if you haven't noticed, it's running right now. It's pretty quiet. You can barely hear it. That's a big difference compared to some of the other cheaper brands out there that run cheaper, louder compressors. Three weeks later. We're back to test the sound pressure level of the VL60 refrigerator. Now, many of you complained that my cell phone was not adequate for measuring decibel levels, so I went out and bought this cheap decibel meter. And we're gonna put this one meter away from the fan with a microphone facing towards the fan. And we're gonna see how many decibels it is on max and on eco. As you can see, we have the sound pressure meter here, one meter away. And fortunately, this has a max and min mode, so let's go ahead and I'll put it on max mode. And we'll be totally quiet here. Fifty-five decibels is the result, as you can see on the meter. Let's go ahead and change the mode to eco. And then we'll take another measurement to see, is it any quieter in eco mode? Let's give you an idea of what it sounds like by placing my microphone right where the input is. As you can see, it is a few decibels quieter. 53 decibels for a large dual zone refrigerator actually isn't bad at all. And this is a nice quiet hum. It doesn't make any weird clunky banging noises like some of the cheaper refrigerators. Remember, this has the five year warranted Dan Foss compressor built into it. So it's a very high quality, very efficient compressor. You can see the results from the test are pretty surprising. The max mode really cooled things down quickly, kept everything solid, but it used a lot more power. The eco mode did just as good of a job once everything was cooled down and used significantly less power. So the rule of thumb is gonna be, if you're running this off grid, keep it in eco mode. Now how's the VL60 compared to other refrigerators? Well, this is really the first dual zone refrigerator I've ever tested on the channel. There's not that many out there that are dual zone. However, because of power consumption and how many watts this pulls, I suspect this has the exact same compressor in it as the VL40 that I reviewed a few months ago. And if that's the case, you know this thing's gonna run a really long time, be very efficient. I don't think this is as quiet as the VL40, but then again, you are dealing with a dual zone refrigerator. It's a lot bigger. It's got more fans in it. Definitely sounds like it's got a couple of fans in it compared to the original VL40. Now I know the question I'm already gonna get a million times, can I power this with a Jackery? And if I have a Jackery or a Blue Eddy or any other power station, how long can I power this refrigerator? Well, let's do some simple math. So first thing you do is you take the usable amount of power you get out of the 12 volt port in your solar generator. In this case, it's just under 300 watt hours. We're just gonna go ahead and round up and say 300 watt hours. You take the power consumption of the refrigerator or whatever other plants you wanna run, and you basically just divide those two numbers. So for example, and this is just an example, if you have a refrigerator that consumes 150 watt hours in a 24 hour period, you could actually run it for two days on this particular Jackery, which has 300 watt hours. So you just divide those numbers and it gives you the results in days. And of course, every power station is gonna be different. It's gonna have different amount of usable power inside and a lot of these refrigerators have different power consumptions too. You can't just assume that all ISCO models are gonna have the same power consumption because in this case, this one actually uses significantly more power than the smaller VL40 model, but that's expected because this thing is a much bigger refrigerator. Generally speaking, the smaller the refrigerator, the less power it's gonna consume over a 24 hour period because it has less space inside that has to keep cold. So if you're interested in the VL60 or any other Iceco model refrigerator, I have a huge Black Friday discount for you guys. Use the link in the description. There's a link to the Iceco page where you can buy this directly from Iceco with a big discount. And that discount code is going to be below in the description with that link. There's also a second link that takes you to the Amazon page, which is going to show you multiple models of the Iceco line, all of them with big sales. So. Got to use those links below and the codes below to get the best discounts on these refrigerators. Now, I'm not going to quote a price inside of this video because the prices on these refrigerators change more often than I change my underwear. So if I quote something now and tomorrow's a different price, I'm going to get hell in the comments. So if you want to know how much this refrigerator is, click the link below and decide if you want to buy it from Iceco for less money or you want to buy it from Amazon for some more money. 
Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. And I'm actually kind of surprised that it only used forgot the number. <laughs> I do need to do the decibel test and I forgot to buy the friggin' meter for it. <laughs> oh well, and hello Amazon. I knew I was forgetting something. Hey Odin, can you tell me how long I can run an ice co fridge off of a Jackery? That's what I thought. RV Golf Guy, Z Foxfire, Jack Smith.